Good morning, you lovely lot. Welcome to Wendy's edition of Wake Up Call. However, we've got a very, very, very busy day coming your way, as we usually do. However, currently we are all about our spring sale that you're going to find across on our website. We've got up to 70% off, but technically, if you check the website, you're going to find up to 80% off in that category. So you've got a chance to get your hands on lots of incredible goodies. Don't forget as well, you're still going to get your Club Inspire on top of that. Also, what we've done as well is we are going to be and are celebrating Totally Tiffany's 20th birthday. Now, uh, although Tiffany does look 20, 21, it's actually the Totally Tiffany brand that is 20 years old. Now, it was meant to end yesterday. They've extended it now up until midnight tonight, your time, where you can get 20% off Totally Tiffany items. That's fab. That's so cool. Plus, you're still going to get your Club Inspire on top of that as well. And then, if that's not enough, because we're still in March, that means we are in the running of National Craft Month, whereas you can get up to 15% off across on our website on storage. We've got an abundance of storage items across there where you can get 15% off. So what we are doing today is we are focusing on that spring sale that we've got, and I am not on my own. We are back together again. We've been together quite a few times, and then we've been apart for a wee while, and then we're back together today and next week. It's a lovely Jan. Morning, Jan. Good morning. Yes, I had a big smile on my face this morning. It's, like, it's a while since I've seen you. It is, yeah, and we the were, sun shining, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we were saying last week, you know, that it's sort of with you guys presenting a little bit now, it gives us more opportunities it to does. meet, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so thrilled to be back and with my partner in crime. So, yes. It's so, good. would you like to have a let's little peek? Let's do that. Yeah, let's Shall we just peek? have a little peek? I've just got a few of the things that we're going to be doing and, and more of the ones that I'm going to focus on demoing. And I saw these on my list of products this morning, well, not this morning, when I was doing my prep. And, you know, they are some of the simplest cards to make, but they look stunning because you've got that shape of the word. So, we've got hello in there. I've got one that has friend. Decorate them however you mm -hmm. wish, with your pattern papers, with your inks, with the stencils, even that fabulous new glitter paste that we brought to you. If you manage to get hold of it, you could run that through the stencils. So, so simple. Couple of passes through your machine and you're just about there. And I'm going to show you that later in a demo. Okay. We've also got another one that I like to have a play with. And, you know, so to keep in the front of your card fairly straightforward. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be too decorative because all the wow is when you open up inside oh, and you've yeah, got that wow. lovely pop out sentiment so we're going to be having a go at one of those in a little while as well time permitting and then we've also got again lots of favorites this morning Craig mm -hmm. uh, one of the Sarah signature collections that I really did fall in love with was our enchanted dreams so again I've just got a couple of samples to show you for that one and hopefully we're going to get a demo in with that one as well so we've not got the whole bundle left but we've put you a really nice bundle on today of items that are remaining in the collection with a fabulous fabulous saving which our Craig will tell you about Definitely. in a little while but yeah mainly featuring that fairy there and the unicorn in that bundle that we've got for you today so I'm going to be demoing with this one in a little while so yeah looking forward to it Craig it some is. nice things on today it's good it's going to be really good it really really is just to say as well when it comes to wake up call we're kind of splitting it up this morning so Jan's going to be here for about an hour and 15 minutes and then Sarah's going to come in and then we'll spend that last 45 minutes having a look at something that you'll be able to get your hands on across on HSN's website across stateside and QVCU's website here in the UK and that is our craft club so we'll be looking at that but then Jan will be back with me for craft fault later on in the day as well right let's have a look at our wheel now this was something that ben wanted to do and he got his wish whereas all week at the start of each day what we're going to be doing is spinning the wheel now wherever that lands that is what you're going to be getting for the full day so it could land for instance yesterday it landed on free gift and as you can see it's where it was when it landed so that meant everyone yesterday got a free gift it could land on 10 pound 10 dollars or 10 euros off your next spend it may land on 15 percent off triple points it could be double points it could be 10 percent off or it could even be two free gifts who knows what it's going to land on? But what we will know in a couple of seconds' time as to what today's one will be. So let's spin the wheel. Let's spin. I'm going to spin. We 
got there. 15% off on that wheel. So that means you're going to get 15% extra off whatever you spend today. Now that's on top of that summer sale. That's on top of what you're already getting on your Club Inspire. So that means you're going to get, in some cases, a triple whammy of your discount. So when we've got one, well, we've got a few collections that you've got 70% off. Add that on top of it. That's going to give you the collection product for 85% off, which is exceptional. So that's what you're going to be getting today, 15% off your order. So if you're just placing one order or a bigger order, whatever it is, all you need to do is once you've logged into your account to place your order, that additional 15% is going to come off. Perfect. So what we do need to do is we need to have a look at what we've got coming up. Jan, do you mind? Could, have you got a couple of finished samples with the word eyes as well? Just to show, or even the couple that you showed before, uh, the big sentiment ones. Just while the I get it across. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. Yeah. We'll yeah. Um, I've popped one of them at the front. I'll bring that one in as well. So we've got uh, four, I think, today in the collection. So we've got friend and we've got hello. And these, you know, the, the actual uh, one pass through the machine cuts out the shape of the actual card. And then you have a second die to cut out the lettering. And then I pop this one out. I love the colours on this That's one. That's a beautiful one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just on the display there. So we've got thanks on this one. So again, you know, it can just be an ordinary card using those cut out words to embellish. Perfect. And then I'm going to actually demonstrate um, happy for us today as well. Yes, yeah, so lots of those to, uh, to have a play with. Brilliant, excellent. Thank you for that, Jan. It was just so you know, I could get. I was just across. working out in my head, Craig. Yeah. For example, going back to what you were just saying about the wheel. Yeah. If something's on a hundred pound with an eighty-five percent saving, mm -hmm. and an extra fifteen percent, mm -hmm. you're going to pay fifteen pound for it. Is that right? Is it's my bonkers, math right? Isn't it? It's crazy. Wow. It's a crazy deal. I might have to get on the old uh, website when I've finished. When, I, when Sarah takes over, I'm going to go and have a little look and a see look. what yeah. there is there. Because for a prime example, what you were just showing there, Jan, that collection that we've got is 70% off. Yeah. Plus, you're, well, you're going to get, of course, your Club Inspire on top of that, uh -huh. but you're going to get that extra 15% off that as well. That is madness, isn't it? Which is it? absolutely, it is madness. Yeah. It really is. We do have Rachel on the uh, socials for this morning. So she's saying uh, hello to Craig and Jan. Our Nicole Bretherick saying good morning, everyone. Good morning, Nicole. We've got Betty is saying good morning, everyone from Oklahoma. Louise is in saying good morning, everyone from Ohio. Linda's in saying hello, good morning, everyone from Maryland. Oh, good morning to you. Uh, I am well, thank you very much. Jan, are you well? I am, absolutely. Good, I'm good, ready good. to go. We've got Jamie in the gallery today. Are you well, Jamie? We've got, he's saying he's very well as well. And we've got Nicola, who's running the ship today. Are you well, Nicola? She's great, she said. She's doing well. We've got Gareth is saying good morning, everyone. He's actually saying morning, morning, everyone. Good morning. Kate McQueen saying good morning, crafty peeps. How are we all? Off work today, so I'm settled in bed for a day of CTV and crafting. Oh, bless. Nice. Oh, I'm going to be doing that in a couple of days' time myself. Yeah. Jerry Johnson saying good morning, everyone from Southern Maryland. Hello, Jan, Craig, and crew. Don Mayo is saying good morning, everyone from Palmetto, Florida. Um, Sarah and the team, Sarah and Nicola will be across uh, that way next week at uh, HSN. Katie is saying, colour, my colour, your world has come. Super excited. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that was a gorgeous collection. Absolutely gorgeous collection. Debbie is saying, I am very happy to see Jan and Craig together. Great day. And then Sarah, yes, yeah, she'll be in just shortly. Debbie is also saying great spin, Craig. Karen Carter saying fab spin, Craig. And Pat Smith, absolutely. Don't you worry, Pat, we will do this. And she's saying good morning. Could you tell me what those size of dies are? That is our sentiment ones, our shaped words ones. So we'll have a look at them just shortly in a wee bit more detail with Jan. However, if you do want to get your hands on this collection, we've got them at £24 or $27. If you are, however, platinum, that's going to come to... I re, do you know something, Jan? I really need my glasses today. £19.20 <laughs> or $21.60 for you guys stateside. Don't forget, you will get your Club Inspire on top of that and you'll get that additional 15% off as well from today's spin. So we've got friend now you've seen the finished a uh, couple of finished examples that jan showed you a moment ago so versatile because you can create your card blanks with them and then have that word die on the top or use it on its own 
But having the friend, we've got happy. We've also got hello. You've then also got love. And then what you've also got is thanks. So you've got five of the key kind of words that you'll maybe tend to say a lot. Whether it's on your card, maybe I've used these often on scrapbook pages, just maybe along the bottom, or even just having them down the side as well. And in many cases, I've just used the actual sentiment, the word die itself, without the surround, because you can do that if you want. But for having a sentiment, Jan, that's not only is it the focal point, but it is the card, it is the project, it can be quite a fun thing to do, isn't it? You know, I love these. There are, as I said, they're a really sort of easy one to do. Um, so if you're just starting your journey in craft, um, they're a great way to sort of show off your skills, but it's not actually that difficult to do. So, uh, so yeah. Now, you said there was a question about the size of yes. them, Craig, and they do vary slightly. Obviously, the word hello is slightly shorter than the word happy. So if I just measure this one finished as a finished sample, it's okay. about seven and a half by three and a half as a finished sample. Now, I, d I think love will be a wee bit smaller. I didn't have a sample of that one. So that'll be a little bit shorter. And obviously we get to friend. And then my one that I'm going to demonstrate on the packaging is saying that it's just over eight and a half inches long. So the height's about the same, but the length of them depends on the different words and how many letters are in the word. So I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then just before we start, I don't know whether this lady's watching, but I had a beautiful email, Craig, from a okay. lady called Jackie, uh, sent to me this week. And, you know, it made my day. So I don't know whether you are watching, but if you are, Jackie, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I know all the team do when we receive feedback, you know. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, as I say, whether you're watching, I'm not quite sure where the lady's based. Uh, I just got given her name. So, uh, yes, thank you very much. So what we're going to do then, we're going to have a look first of all at the contents and they're all the same. So you actually get a little instruction sheet, which I love this when, you know, if you prefer to watch us back, then obviously once we've finished with the live, you can rewatch as many times as you want, either on YouTube or on Facebook. But if you prefer those written instructions, just passing through there, the, the different ways that we need to do, you've got them here. Nice and simple, just one side, four instructions. That's how straightforward it is, telling you exactly how to work with this, right from how big your piece of card needs to be to what to do with them. So I'm going to pop that one just onto one okay. side. And then your actual dies, you get two pieces of metal work in each one. So I'm going to take those off that carrier sheet for a second. So you're going to get the outline of the word. So this one actually spells the word happy. And this is what cuts the shape of the card, which is what we're going to do this morning. If you just want to use the lettering, you've then got that piece of metal work with the word spelled out in those capital block letters. Okay. So just to go back to the outline one, the way this one works, if I turn it over and we'll let our Jamie just come and have a little look at the edge of it here. It's coming. Well, I need to be that way, don't I? There we go. We've got a cutting edge round the outside of the letters here. But along this top edge, that cutting edge is broken. So I've got a cap at the top of each letter where the cutting edge is broken. Now there's just a slight indentation that will actually pop a score line in there. So what that means is when we pop it on a piece of card, we're going to keep where the breaks are in the cutting line, we're going to keep the fold together. So the card will keep its shape. So if you're going to do a tent fold card, oh, yeah. it's not going to cut in those areas. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. This one is a full die. So this is going to cut the whole of the word out, but the letters are very nicely sort of joined together so that you don't have to piece them all back into place. So let me show you how simple it actually is. So instruction number one says to cut an A4 piece of card that measures eight by nine inches. Okay, so I've just taken some multi-purpose card and I've cut it eight by nine inches. All right, so this is gonna be my length. This is gonna be the height. And then it says to score it halfway at four. So I've had it in my scoreboard on the short side, scored it at four and essentially made a nine inch by four inch piece of card. And then you're gonna need a little bit of your low tack tape 
because we want to make sure that this doesn't move out of place and then first of all it tells you to take the large outline die making sure that you've got that area which is the top of the word against the fold okay. and what we're going to do is position it but rather than having it cut here like this I want to push it right to the top just so that there's a smidge overhanging the top of the card and it literally is like a, a whisker okay and then once you're happy with that positioning tape it into place because we don't want that to move okay. now if you're using a gemini we know that the gemini's got enough power enough pressure to cut through two layers of multi-purpose card so that's like 600 gsm i'm going to cut through both of these together because i want the whole thing to be in the shape of that word okay, yeah. so i'm going to pop both shims in because i want to make sure there's plenty of pressure to go through that um cardstock if you're using a lighter weight cardstock so for example um if you've got some 12 by 12 textured card or something like that from one of our paper pads you may not need all your shims to go through both layers so just have a play around then we're going to pop it through the gemini I got enough space there yeah and that's going to cut that shape out but like I said along the top of the fold it's going to keep that fold intact where those little areas were where the cutting edge was missing okay so let's just take that out so that's the first part of the design I'll just keep those out because I need those in a second okay and I'll show you what we've actually done here so when I take away my tape now and I'm not too worried about the edges because this is actually going to be the waste part of the card. Okay. And same at this side. When we take this away now, you can see we've gone straight through both layers without any problem at all. And then also at the top, just got a little bit of tape clinging on at the bottom there. Come it's away. Hanging on now. It's hanging on for grim death, that yeah, one, isn't, isn't it? it? There we go okay when this comes away i'm just going to snip that outside piece okay you've got the pieces here now i've actually gone a bit low down again i did this when i was doing my sample at home i've sort of erred on the side of caution i could possibly have gone a little bit higher up but what i'm saying here is is where those gaps were you've still got your fold yeah, you in the card okay so these bits actually should have cut out as i say i've not had mine quite high enough up i'll show you the one I'd prepped at home but if I just snip those out you can see where we've got to with it such a cool but even just having that solidness from the happy I just think it's a really clever way you know and sort of like we've always sort of done this with with certain dies where we've hung it over the edge you yeah. know to make easel cards and things like this but this one's actually done for you so pop that to one side and you can see now we've got that shaping ready to receive the lettering so if I pop this one back over you can see that it's been shaped perfectly to receive that lettering but when I open it up I've still got across all the letters they're all anchored in the top of the card so essentially you've got your tent fold okay ready to stand there now it's just slipping slightly because it's got no weight on it at the second so what we're going to do then is you're going to take your chosen sort of top layer now whether that be a piece of pattern paper which is what i'm going to use or whether it is um, a piece of cardstock that you're going to decorate with the inks and a stencil maybe mm -hmm. you might have put something where we did all that beautiful texture paste with the glitter yeah, paste yeah. let it dry and then cut this bit out lots of options but again it says on here to pass the card we pass the card base through and then use the word die to cut a word layer so i've just got a scrap of paper just to show you what i mean we'll reuse that little bit there because i don't need a lot for this and again i'm just going to pop that onto my plates and pass that through the machine so this is going to cut out those lovely block letters and all of these dies work the same again once you've had a play with them and you understand how that principle works you can do these in a minute and they'd be a great one for um, 
batch making it's as well for those it, of yeah. you that like to go to um, tabletop sales yes. and things like that they'd be great for batch making now there aren't any extra sentiments in here you get that main word die but i know you've all got tons of extra sentiments and that's what i did i just went to my stash and i actually found a birthday one so we're actually going to go with the happy birthday so when we take this one out now we've got the perfect layer to go along with our shaped die so just get rid of the pieces and this one's just the right layer to lay so over the top perfect, perfect yeah. isn't it so again i did this at home i used some slightly different paper at home uh, this is actually from the i think it was spring blooms and it's just got a little bit i love the sheen on it now what i tend to do what i like to do now it's not necessary this will work absolutely fine okay but i like to if i'm just using a paperweight card i like to stick mine to a piece of scrap card and cut okay. them but it makes it a little bit more substantial and when you pop these together you've got a little bit of a more of a raised edge so all i'm going to do now simply is add some double-sided tape onto the back of those letters and i'm just going to use my tape pen for this one so just where we want to stick. And just thinking, even with this one as well, and funny enough, Christy Mahoney said the same, even if you've got your Easter collection or that, and just the word Easter. Happy Easter, have, Easter, happy, Easter, happy blessings, yeah. happy anniversary, happy holidays. It's, it's endless, you know. Swap it to Christmas papers and do your happy holidays on there. Really, really useful. And then all I'm going to do is just centre that in between that outside layer. And it just fits. Ooh, we've got a little tiny string a bit going on there. We don't need you. Thank you very much. There we go. Last time I was here, I was working with Liam. Had Liam in the gallery. And honestly, he, he thought I was crackers. Bless him. He did nothing but laugh. Because I kept talking to myself and I kept talking to the <laughs> dies in the machine. And he, honestly, he was absolutely rolling. So literally... You can see there, that is a simple, and I did say at the beginning that it was fairly straightforward. Now, again, you can cut if you want another layer inside, but I would use maybe a greeting or write your message in here. And then all I'm going to do is just pop the word birthday across the bottom here. And I've just, I thought I'd popped a bit of tape on there, but obviously I didn't. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit at each end. And I'm just going to fasten that between, because we can still see what it says there. And then I just felt it needed a little bit of decoration. So out came the little butterfly die. And we're just going to pop maybe two or three of those just as extra decoration. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of my glue there. A little bit on that one. And then a little bit at the end. Yeah, and this is just out of the scraps of the card that were left over. So again, on there. And then when we're ready, you know, it's straightforward. It really is as simple as that. So four instructions on that little instruction sheet. I'll bit the, I've added the embellishments to it. But that gives you those dies in any of the words in that collection, five different words to play with. And like we said, you know, you can mix and match um, the different sentiments that go with it out of your stash and spell out so many different John, greetings yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, John, Brenda Luckler on YouTube is asking, now Brenda, I suppose this would depend on what one you are using, but she's saying, what size of envelopes would I need for these sentiment words? Right, so I think this is probably one of the longer ones, along with friend, which is about the same length, yes. Yeah. So when this is finished, you would probably be looking at something about nine by four inches. Now, I don't know whether that's a standard size or not, but you would certainly be able to make an envelope using our enveloper out of Definitely, a piece of yeah. 12 by 12 paper. So depending on what you used here, you could use something similar. Or if it's a double sided, I like to use the reverse side of it for the envelopes and make your own envelope to go with it without any trouble. Perfect. That's great. Thanks for that, John. I'm um, not sure if that wouldn't fit in an ordinary... Um, I forget what they're called. Is it a DL envelope? A DL, yeah, a DL you know, the long, yeah, the, or a the slimline, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if it wouldn't fit in something like that. Yeah. 
Because I reckon they're about four inches tall. They, they, I'm sure they are about four. Yeah, because yeah. it's about four. Because it's about half of an eight by eight, isn't it? As yeah. in four inches. So you might get away. And with I that. think, yeah, as I say, this one and friend are the longest of the words. Uh -huh. So if that they fit in, the others will obviously fit in there too. Good question. Absolutely, yeah. What well, it says, well, so Pat was asking the size of them again. What to do is, uh, if, uh, right at the start of this demonstration, Jan went over the size of them, uh, Pat, so you'll be able to go back and have a wee look at that one there. But yeah, you've got five of them in total here, where you've got, thanks, now all five of them are in this set at £19.20 or $21.60. That's your platinum price. But if you're not in Club Inspire, you will be £24 or $27. You've also got your love. You've also got your hello. You've also got your happy. And then you've also got your friend. Now, all of these ones are coming together. You can use them in all the same way that Jan was just showing you a moment ago. But let's not forget as well, with that spin today, you are going to be getting your uh, additional 15% off. You don't need to do anything. Once you've then just logged into your account, your Club Inspire, then that 15% is going to come off uh, automatically. So don't worry about having to think about any promo codes or anything like that. So we're going to have a look at a few comments in a moment, but what we will do is we'll show you a few additional deals that we've had from the last couple of days. Because yesterday, uh, yesterday, if you were taking part within that spin, you'll have known that you got your free gift. But today, we have got that additional 15% off. Now, that means if you go for your embellishment pack today, you will get your 15% off that you didn't get yesterday. So today's price being from Sarah's brand new collection, Once Upon a Time, that is your organza ribbon. It's your fairy dust glitter. And that is five, five in a pack of your swirl embellishment. So you've got two of the pearls, two of the gold, and one of the silver. And it's all in one continuous strip, but you can chop into them. 15 pound or $20. Platinum comes down to 12 pound or $16. But once again, don't forget, you're going to get your additional 15% off today as well. We managed to have some of this single six by six paper pads from the Once Upon a Time, $5.99 or $9.95. If you are platinum, that comes down at £4.79 or $7.96. But of course, you are, of course, going to get your additional 15% off up till midnight your time tonight because that is what the wheel said. Now, if the wheel said it, that's what you're going to get. Now, you're also going to get your 15% off your linen cardstock. Now, remember, all of these just launched yesterday, so you wouldn't have got your additional 15% off. You are going to be getting it today. $14.99 or $19.95. But if you're a Platinum member, that's going to come down to $11.99 or $15.96. Plus, you're going to be taking your 15% off of that. And then you've got your Once Upon a Time. This is your Sparkles. Now, it does look as though you've just got one in there. You have the five of them in total. So you've got two that is pearl, two that is gold, and one that is silver. So all five of them you're going to be getting at $7.99 or $9.95. But if you're platinum, that's going to come down to £6.39 or $7.96. And of course, you're going to get your additional 15% off as well. Then maybe you want a little bit extra of that fairy dust. We showed you it yesterday and how it looks. It's kind of got that Aurora Borealis slash uh, chameleon sort of effect. $6.99 or $8.95. But if you're platinum, that's going to come down to £5.59 or $7.16. With, of course, you've guessed it, your 15% off. Then you maybe want to go for your organza ribbon. So this is actually giving you nine reels in total. You do have three of your baby pink, three of your white, and then three of your purple. You've got your three different widths within each colour. $4.99 or $6.95. But if you're platinum, that's going to come down to $3.99 or $5.56. Plus on top of that, you're going to get your additional 15% off. Then what about a little bit of Violet Studios in your Happy Easter 14 piece showstopper collection? £16 or $24, but if you're platinum, that's going to come down to £12.80 or $19.20. You're going to get double points on that, plus you are, up till midnight tonight, you're going to get your additional 15% off, because that's what the wheel said. What a great selection to get your hands on with that additional discount up till midnight your time tonight. Who knows what the wheel will land on tomorrow, but we don't need to worry about that or think about that until tomorrow. This is all about today where you're getting that extra 15% off. 
Uh, right, we have got, uh, so Samantha was asking about the 15% promo code. Do you need a promo code? Um, so apparently, maybe there is a promo code. So hang fire for a second. The team are on it. Oh, we do have one. So for the 15% off, so this is from what the wheel was saying, there is now. So apologies on that one, that there is now a promo code that you do need to put in. So when you get to the checkout, you just need to go in spring sale 15. Spring sale 15, and that's going to take that 15% off when you get to the checkout. So apologies on that one. Uh, but just goes to show how it's all live, and it's all the team are working hard behind the scenes to get it all set up instantly for you. So there we go. Put that into that promo code, spring sale 15, and you're going to get that 15% off. Uh, Sandy is saying, I have the hello die. I'm using it to make a hanging sign to put on the door in the nursing home that I make cards for. What a brilliant idea, yeah. Sandy. I love that. Love that. Lois is saying, beautiful card. Thank you, Jan. I love those dies. Uh, Susan is saying, I love Jan's demos. It's a pretty simple card. It really, really is. Emma Thrower on Facebook is saying, uh, Jan, can you remember where that birthday stamp was from? Where the what, sorry? The birthday stamp. Uh, oh, now then, I've got a load of different sentiment stamps that I keep at the side of my desk. And if I remember rightly trying to think which collection it was it's a large packet of stamps that's got mix and match uh, fonts in it and there's all sorts of different words in it it's got like birthday anniversary does it not originally come with the it may have i, think it I know it came yeah. with something yeah maybe because obviously you've got that mix and match facility there but basically anything yeah. that you've got in your stash you know would work i've got lots of different sizes in sentiments depending on what uh, project I'm working on so it was just a case of finding suitable that wasn't too big that it overtook that word but it was big enough to go with that other sentiment so yeah whatever you've got hanging around really do you know I nearly wrote it down I nearly wrote it down it definitely came with a it collection did, it? it could yeah. have been these yeah. got a funny feeling it did yeah but yeah, like you say, any of your own ones from Absolutely, your own staff, they're yeah. going to work a treat, aren't Or any they? of the collections that you've De had, yeah. you know, there's always sentiments in the signature collections, uh, often in the Nature's Garden collections. So if you've got any of those, it's just a case of popping through and uh, choosing one that's suitable size, really, or a font that you like. For sure. Really, really is, for sure. Uh, now, going from one fun set to another fun set. Now, this is where you're also going to get 78% uh, off. This is what uh, it works out at. Now, don't forget, spring sale 15 in that promo code. That's going to activate that additional 15% off at checkout as well. So you're going to get everything I'll rate to show you here for £15 or $17. But if you're platinum, that's going to come down to £12 or $13.80 for all of you guys that are platinum. Uh, right, so what you're going to get inside, you are going to be getting the pop-out elements. Each of these ones are the pop-out elements, whereas you've got best wishes. Now, we are going to have a look at them just in a moment with Jan, but you'll have seen the finished sample that Jan showed you at the start of the show. And, you know, we do spend a lot of time on the front of our cards, but it's so lovely to have something completely different in the middle here. Now, I'm taking responsibility. That uh, The scribbles on here... Jan, I'm taking responsibility as well as Zena at Hobby Maker because we were shown these one day and we had our metallic pencils and I had no black card. So I just brought in, and I did say I was going to recover this and I've never done it yet. Oh, so wow, that's a terrific <laughs> memory. To do, uh, I'll, yeah, I'm not going to cover it up. I I'm not going to cover it up. My, my memory's not that good these days. I'd be thinking, <laughs> what's that doing on there? Yeah, that was, that was me and Zena at Hobby Maker here in the UK just trying out the metallic pencils. But here we go, we've got just for you. You can see, so as you pop that open, we've got just for you. We've also got many thanks as well. The way that they look, once you open them up and you've got that incredible pop-out sentiment, then we're finishing off with love. With love. All four of those that you are going to be getting for £15 or $17, $17. That's where, out of them all, that's working out, you're getting them at 70% off. However, if you're platinum, that is going to come down to £12 or $13.60. But if you go into your promo code at checkout and put your spring sale 15, that's then going to take that 15% off from the wheel that we spun before. So another really fun set 
Uh, just to say as well, but we're just being, see, this goes to show when it really is live, we're getting fed through all of these snippets that we need to let you know. But you can't use that 50% uh, off as, as any new launches that we've just had. So Nicola, is that over the last couple of months, is it? So, uh, certainly within this month, so any new launches that we've just had, so therefore, we're going to have to take back what we said within those um, snippets that we showed you before from Once Upon a Time, because that will have just launched yesterday. So we do uh, give you an apology on that one there. So it does not work on any of our new launches, but still have a look at our website. Think of the spring sale. Think of your storage. Totally, Tiffany, all of that you're going to be getting with that 15% uh, off when it comes from the wheel. Uh, right, Jan, what are we going to be having a look at? We're going to have a look at those pop-outs. And again, I want to show you that mechanism and how it works. So this is the one that I showed you at the top of the show. You can decorate as much or as little as you like on the front. But the wow factor, like we said, is when you actually open this up. So somebody might receive this and expect to just find a greeting inside it. But when you open it up, you've got those gorgeous pop-outs. Now, I once tried to have a go at something like this without a die. And trust me, it wasn't easy trying no. to work out where all the no. score lines and the fold lines needed to be so that was the with love there again we've got a red theme going on this morning nice and straightforward on the front because we've got that lovely just look with the mirror card on there and i'm going to show it's you so how you striking. can decorate that lettering as well and again it doesn't have to be in the middle i love this one this is a different style of card with that little pop out sat at the top there so if i just show you sideways it's sort of like one long piece of card that's been made into the cube section and we've put the pop out bit in the top. I love that. There's no name on this one as to who's made this, but I just love that idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a go with the just for you. And again, the bit that I like about it is it's got that little set of instructions in here. So again, you've got two sides this time, but it talks you through right from the size of your cardstock how to actually position this piece of metal to get it in the right place for it to pop out of the centre of the card like you can see here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. So again, you've got... Um, I would say quite an intricate die, but only in the sense of that it's got, you know, cutting lines and score lines on again. So on some of it, you'll see that there's a complete cut line in certain areas. And then in other parts, there's those little gaps again, so that the letters can be anchored into the card in certain places. But the bit that I want to draw your eye to on this one more than anything is on each side, there's like a little notch at each end. That's the bit that we need to be aware of for positioning purposes, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. So going through here again, it says for a four by six card, which is going to give you this kind of finish, okay, standard four by six size, you want a piece of card that measures eight inches by six inches. So I've take, done that, and I've just taken a piece of pearlescent white card just for demo purposes i've got it done in another color for my actual card all right so i've got eight inches in height six inches in width and then it says use a scoring tool and a score mat to mark where the center fold of your card will be but don't score the crease all the way along so what i've done somewhere yep i've actually taken my ruler and because this is eight inches I've literally just measured and popped myself a little mark at four and I've popped myself a little mark at four at this side. Now you can actually line up the whole thing if you wish. You can pop a little faint pencil line across but you only actually need it at the edges where it sticks out at either side of the die. Okay. So what I'm going to do now then, and again, the tape is quite crucial with this one. So if you don't have any low tack tape, have a look on the website. It comes with a pack of three, which lasts quite a long time. It does, doesn't it? Okay. And what we're going to do is those little notches that I talked about, they look like almost like little um, bird's beaks on the end. It does, yeah. And what I'm going to do is line those up with my pencil lines that were at the four inch mark, the halfway mark. And I'm just going to eyeball that I've got about the same distance at each side. So I've got maybe about a quarter of an inch at each side of the die. And then those two little marks, there's like a little notch in the middle. My pencil line is right in the center of those marks. And then you want to make sure that it's stuck in place. 
All right, because you don't want that to move when it goes through the Gemini. Again, it will go through any die cutting machine. You don't actually need a lot of pressure. Okay, it's it sort of cuts some of it and scores the rest of it, if that makes sense. A little bit like we did with that last one. So again, I'm just going to pop my shims in place and pass that through the Gemini. And that's actually going to cut out the shape we need out of the centre, well, cut into, should I say. Nothing's actually going to come out apart from the waist. The design's going to cut into the centre of that piece of card. And whatever you've chosen to cut this into is going to be sort of the inside part of your card. So think about your colour schemes. What I would always suggest with any die like this is when you get it, is maybe get some, you know, some scrap card and have a practice a rather replay, than going yeah. straight in with your nice luxury card stock so have a practice with it and get the idea of how it works right so that just literally came straight out of the die no problem we'll get those little pieces out afterwards and what you've got left is that detail cut into your card stock so you can see those letters starting to appear there just for you we've got some nice decoration now you don't have to do this step and it's not not included in the instructions excuse me clanging i've just knocked that off the back oh. but i do actually like to go over my score lines just gently and it helps with the card not cracking as such so all i'm going to do is line them up with one of the tracks and just very very gently where i've got a score line i'm just going to go over it with the edge of my score tool now be aware of the um weight of your cardstock because if it's not a particularly tough cardstock you want to be very gentle otherwise you'll go through it okay, okay. so wherever there's a score line on here i'm literally just going to do i'm not going all the way across i'm just being very careful to just go where it's already scored with the die oops on that one that one so it's the tops and bottoms of the letters and then on your instructions where we had it originally and we marked the four inch for the positioning i can still see my little pencil lines here you actually want to put a full score line just in that edge bit that quarter of an inch that we had left at the edge don't come through the letters and then again at this side so all i've done originally if we were going to fold this in half we would have done a top to bottom score line but I don't want that score line to come through my lettering. So just either side. And again, it explains all that in your little instruction leaflet. So then there's a little bit of patience involved because you have to think about how this is going to work. So there's a series of folds that are either going to be valley folds or mountain folds. So for example, the first one here, it's, this is going to come out at a right angle from the card. So you're going to work this one up to create a valley and then the tops of your letters are going to stand out so that one wants to be a mountain so I just tend to nip the tops of the letters there where that score line is just at the very top there and this is why I find it does help a wee bit to go over the edge of the the score lines and then it moves down so again I've got the top of the S and I've got the top of the U so you can see where the score lines are. Just give them a little nip with your finger. We can actually burnish these into place when we've decided where everything's going. So it's going to start and come out from the top here, like so. So these are going to stand up the other way. So I've got a valley here. And this is why I said suggested that you try it on a piece of scrap first. 100%, yeah. Yeah, and the bottom of the letters are going to be valleys as well. So again, I usually just push those against my finger or you can push them against you know something that's got a nice straight edge on it yep and then again we're going to come down to the next set so the tops of the letters are always a mountain so you've got that little pinch again just along the top now it takes a minute or two but it's worth every single second that you spend on it and the better you work through these the better that finished element will be so again i sometimes take something straight where I've got the longer lines here and just bend it oh, over yeah. that something straight to get that, that line in place. The little ones are a wee bit easier where the letters are. So again, tops of the letters are mountains and you can see where it's slowly starting to come 
into place. The two score lines that we put right at the very edge are going to be a valley. So again, they'll squeeze those little edges together. And then you can see that these letters are wanting to stand up. So if I just turn it this way, those letters are going to stand again. And I tend to just use my bone folder to just get those to stand up. Once you've got everything in the right position, you can see that orientation now, how it's coming together. All we need to do then is gently push everything together. So it should fold on those middle lines that we had. Fold it flat. And then once you've got it flat, give these a really good burnish into place. Teach that card what you want it to do. And then the next one is going to fold flat as well. Brilliant. And when you get to the end, let me just make sure they're all folding. Yep. You will actually get so that this one folds together to make a perfect match. So again, once it's flat, you can then start and put everything into place. I like to give it really good burnish so that everything is sat and then turn it over do the other side this is all the back of your card so don't worry about it and then we've literally oh, got everything hell. ready so if i just turn that round now you can see if i show you the side view you've got all those little steps there look so it's worth taking that couple of minutes to just work along i always start at the top work my way down and eventually as i say it should fold so that these two edges that measured the six inches match perfectly okay so I've actually done a little bit of decorating on the one that I've prepped for the, the demo. So I did exactly the same. I just used some cream textured card. So you can see here that we've got the same idea. Okay. And then I've started decorating this. So I've used a couple of scraps whoops, come away, for the top and bottom. I've popped a little scrap at the back to fill that heart in. And then I've started decorating the letters here. You can just pick up the glitter on that top Oh, yeah, part. you can just catch that. So all I've done there is take my die again with the chosen cardstock. In this case, it was some ivory glitter card. And I've cut it out again. And then where you had those score lines at the top and bottoms of the letters, I've just snipped them away from the whole design so that I ended up with a set of free lettering. All right? And then I've actually run this through my sticky machine. If you don't have one of those, you can actually pop double-sided adhesive on the back, mm -hmm. or you can just use, you know, your little applicator to pop glue in place. But just for demoing, it makes it a little bit quicker for us when we've actually got it all ready. So again, I'm going to take the tweezers and just lift these off. And if you lay this flat again, because you've used the die, these are the perfect size to literally go over the top so I'm just going to work my way along Craig yeah. and pop these over the top of the letters before we carry on perfect awesome okay. uh, a lot of love for the technique that you're doing just now as well because uh, Adriana is saying the first one is always the most difficult I always die cut another one in glitter or other paper so the letters stand out and I take them over the base just like Jan's doing at the moment uh, and Jerry's saying the same I will uh, I will take the pop out sentiments I save the letters that I cut out to a piece of uh, paper and I put them in an envelope with the die package. It's a good idea as well. Um, that one that you showed right at the very start, uh, Jan, it was our Michelle McCarthy's. Was Michelle's, it? Michelle's I watching. should have known. She's saying, that was mine, Jan. Absolutely should have known that, shouldn't I? She's really good at doing something she different, is. our Michelle. She really, Not really is. Not seen her for absolutely ages. I haven't. Uh, yeah, I've seen her just there. Well, what's that there? Because what we're now, Wednesday. So it was the back end of last week, and it was the first time I'd seen her for a wee while because, yeah. you know, with the uh, holidays and that, what that had happened with everyone. So, yeah, um, I seen her then. So what I've done then is I've popped all those just across the front of them so that it stands out a little bit more. And then it's better, I think, if you have something behind here because you can see, you know, the minute I put my hand behind there, that stands out much better than when you've got the see-through bit at the back. So what I've done is this one measured six by four okay so i've gone up in my quarter of an inch increments so my finish card is a wee bit bigger than this but i've gone up in quarter of an inch increments and i've done a mat and a layer 
to make my actual card blank. So my finished card actually measures six and three quarters by four and a half, okay? And I've just used some coloured cardstock for the, um, the card blank. And I've popped a little bit of paper. Again, whatever you have handy. I had my daisy pad out there, so I just thought that would look nice. And we're actually going to sit this inside here. And the whole thing will then fold pretty much flat. You've probably got about an eighth of an inch depth in there, but not a massive amount. So I'm literally, just for the purpose of this, going to pop some tape across the top here and then the bottom. Such an effective okay. thing. I'm yeah. not too worried about the other bits because okay. obviously these all come away from the base of the card. All right, so if you pop it down into its closed form, make sure it's the right orientation, Jan, that way. And then I'm just going to pop this one, whoops, and lay it just loosely on the, the mat at the bottom lining it up to make sure that we've got it in the right place like so and when I'm happy with that give that a press down and then if you fold it flat and fold this one onto it like so just make sure those are in the back you'll you'll don't press it too far just make sure that everything's lined up perfectly yep yeah? and when you're happy with it give it a press Great so you can tip. see then that we've got that lovely Look at that. pop out element in there yep and then i've kept this the front fairly simple i've just used the reverse of that pattern paper and i've just used the reverse to make a topper for the front and we're just going to add a little sentiment again from the stash i have certain sentiments that stay at the side of my desk at all times so this is going to just go on the front, like so. Lots of colour choices. All right, and then I've just stamped out, and this one is from the sets that were, there were an A5 stamp set that had all the same sort of with love sentiments. No, I'm telling fibs, that was one of the others. This is from... Um, now then, it was the Lily, Nature's Garden Lily collection had a lovely set of sentiments in. And again, that's one of the ones that stays at the side of my desk. So yeah, with love on that one. And I'm just going to pop that on the front here. So that was from uh, a throwback of our Lily collection. It was, yeah, a long, long while ago, wasn't it, that one? This is just going to go on the front. And then because I'd got this, this came out of here when I die cut the glitter lettering. But it seems silly to waste it. So we're actually just going to take that with it all being sticky. And I'm just going to pop that inside just as an extra embellishment there. So again, keeping that front fairly straightforward. And then if we turn that one round for you and get it stood up, you've just got a really, you know, straightforward. You can embellish this as much or as little as you like. But the actual surprise there, as I say, when your recipient opens it and it's got that lovely design inside, and it will stand. If you just open it back, it will stand up nicely on its own like so. So that again, they, so look, they really smart. stand out as something that bit different. So again, looks intricate, but when you break it down, and don't forget you've got that little instruction sheet, takes you all the way through to re-die cutting the letters if you want to decorate the wording. It's all on there for you on that little instruction sheet that comes with them. Perfect. Awesome. And then you can do something exactly the same with that same die set that Jan was just using there. Or, remember, you are, in total, going to be getting the four of them, which they are. With love, you've then also got many thanks. You've then also got just for you. And that was the one that Jan just used there a moment ago. And then you have also got best wishes. So all four of these, these ones are your pop-outs, £15 or $17, which is exceptional in its own right. That's giving you a saving of 70%. However, if you're platinum, that's going to come down to £12 or $13.60. Plus, you will be able to take advantage of the uh, spring code. So go in with that 15% off when it comes to that promo code. Just do your uh, spring clearance 15 
in that promo code and that's going to take that 15% off of these ones here. So that one is your four pack. I mean, when you look at the price originally, which of course was what, just, just over 50 pound and just under $60 originally, you can see where the, that 70% uh, saving comes in all the way down to 15 pound or $17 for you guys stateside. And Michelle McCarthy is saying, oh, I miss you, Jan. She does. Um, so we've got, are we going to be doing the Spectrum and what? Yes, we are, the Stampin' Platinum. Now, this one, this is awesome, this little deal that we've got here. And also one that you could take advantage of, that spring, spring clearance. Spring clearance, 15. Whew. Bit of a mouthful, that one. <laughs> Who thought of a great big long code like that one, eh? Spring clearance, 15. Uh, right to you. We're going to be giving you five classic pens completely free. And this one here, this is your six by six stamping platform. Um, I'm going to go, I'm just going out a shot just for a second. And there's a reason I'm doing that. Because I cannot read that screen, Jan. Oh, I cannot read that screen, so I need I my glasses on. I'm like that for the close-up oh. stuff. Right here, need a bit of a wipe. I'll do that afterwards. There we go. So we've got our six by six stamping platform here, and you're going to be getting a full pack of your Nina cardstock. Now that's going to be nineteen ninety-eight or twenty-six dollars ninety-eight. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to fifteen ninety-eight or twenty-one dollars fifty-nine. That's really good because you've got your 6x6 six six stamping platform. So these ones here have got your uh, spring-loaded feet, plus you've got your full pack of Nina cardstock. So that's 16 sheets. That is the perfect cardstock for you to do your alcohol colouring. But guess what? We're going to give you some alcohol pens uh, into here. So just to clarify as well, thank you, Rachel. It's spring sale 15 in the promo code. Spring sale 15. Can I go back to bed, Jan? I think I, I, think I need it. Oh. Spring sale 15 in the promo code. That's where you're going to be able to take advantage of that spin the wheel 15% discount. There we go. We can see it along the bottom there. Spring sale 15. I'm going to, I'm going to write that. Nicola's going to keep feeding that in my ear. So you've got your, your classic pens here completely free. You've got the five of them where you've got your Vermil Vermilion. I've never heard of that one before. Vermilion. 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 Yeah, Vermilion. I've never heard of that one before. And I've got the full set, so that's kind of bad, isn't it? <laughs> I can clear that. I don't use that one a lot, do I? We've then also got our vintage pink. Heard and seen that one. Purple violet, of course. We've also got our sangria. Christ. Gosh, I could do with. <laughs> Gosh, I could do with one of them just now. Pale mint. <laughs> <sighs> so, oh dear, pale mint, it's going to be one of them days. Sangria, <coughs> purple violet, vintage pink, and uh, vermilion. So you've got that one. So GZ peeps, what a great deal you've got here. I could do with the sangria right now. <laughs> so you're going to be getting them free. So it works out that you are paying for your six by six stamping platform and your full pack of Nina cardstock. That is your 16 sheets. As I said, that is the absolute perfect cardstock for doing your alcohol colouring. But you're also going to get your five classic pens. Now, these ones great for colouring your gems, your ribbons. You can be colouring your MDF and that as well. All of these ones you can be colouring if you want to. So you're going to get that $19.98 or $26.98. But platinum price comes down to £15.98 or $21.58. And of course, spring sale 15 you're going to be able to take advantage of another 15 percent off when it comes to that one there so that's an exceptional one do you want another one do you want another one let's have a look we've got knitwit my love is our knitwit love knitwit here where we are going to be giving you an assortment i can't even read that with my glasses on jan there we go can I, in this side here we've got a much smaller uh, tv screen here so we've got a selection of knitwit products here and a great selection as well 32 pound or 41 dollars 25 pound 60 or 32 dollars 80 now when it comes to all of this one here you're still going to be able to take advantage of that spring sale 15 so in that promo code spring sale 15 and let's show you what you're going to be getting now this is everything from knitwit in the selection that we've got knitwit a canadian company now they are a digital company however you will only find 
physical crafting elements from Nitwit with us at Crafters Companion. So you're going to be getting a selection from their different collections. So we've got stamps, we've got ribbons, we've got flower dies, we've got our elegant board. We've also then got our floral arch. What about using some of these with Sarah's Once Upon a Time? That would look absolutely beautiful. Brilliant florals when it comes to your 3D embossing folder. We've got our embellishment pack as well. That pack is full of the embellishments. You've got your pearl cardstock from the Nitwit Kindly Thought range and then you've got your 12 by 12 die cut topper pad as well. You're going to get all of that for £32 or $41. If you are platinum that's going to come down to £25.60 or $32.80 and you can take advantage of that spring sale 15 discount in the promo code at checkout. That will of course uh, enable and activate that 15% discount from what the wheel said this morning, so you can absolutely take advantage of that one there. A uh, lot of love for what Jan was just showing before. We've got some finished samples, Jan, don't we? We have here for both of those. Yes, yeah, so I've just pulled a few out for these. So the, uh, the home body one, absolutely gorgeous. Again, you know, I love the little picket fence on this one. Absolutely beautiful. So just taking those pop-out elements, layering them up, making your own designs. Again, just looking different, cut out in the craft card there absolutely beautiful but again you know all those elements from that pop out sheet so you've got the lovely sort of floral elements you do the key on there the sentiments all part of that collection and then did you have the kindly thoughts down there as well Craig? yeah we had some of the kindly thoughts yeah in there. so yeah, again selection. just show you a few from there beautiful. that border absolutely love that border but again mixing and matching it with the stamping and then you've got two different borders in that one. So when I show you the one, this one just used down either side. I thought really cleverly done. But again, you've got those pop-out elements. So again, using them in the centres, mixing and matching them with the metalwork in there. And then just that collage, you know, just go to town with them. Absolutely. Collage them up, mixing and matching. Really, really good again for sort of relatively quick cards if you're wanting something sort of uh, one that you've perhaps forgotten and you just need to make a quick one. For sure, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. £25.60 or $32 for you guys stateside. Take advantage of that spring sale 15 as well. Uh, Jan's away to take a little bit of an extended break, but she's going to be back with me for the two-hour spring sale craft vault where we've got up to 70%. However, check out the website because you've actually got up to 80% off as well, where you can take advantage of that Spring Sale 15 on many of the items as well. Uh, We're going to give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. When I come back, the boss is going to be back in the building with me, and we're going to be having a look at something that you can get your hands on across on HSN's website stateside and QVC's UK website here, well, in the UK. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafter's TV. 
with more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. because if you're shopping here in the UK, you can order this from QVC. If you are shopping this over in the US, you can order this from HSN, but you haven't got long left because for both of those, um, QVC and HSN, this was their product of the month for National Craft Month, which means this is a, a product that's launched. It is running throughout March, but it will end at the end of March either or, or when the stock runs out. So actually for both of them, definitely for um, HSN, I'm worried that the stock will sell out during the airings I've got on this next Tuesday. So this is kind of a bit like a preview show, but I'm not previewing it because it's already available, so I'm telling you all about it, right? Now, the great thing is I'm here, I'm live, I'm interactive, and I haven't let Craig out of the room. So I'm here and I've got lovely Craig, look, he's still there. He's just swapped to the other side of the studio. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, and I can read the screen now, Sarah, so I don't need my glasses on. <laughs> Is that why you've had your glasses <laughs> on? That's how I, got, I needed them on, yeah. You've got a mini screen over this side <laughs> of the room. Craig's got a full-size screen at his side of the room, so if I'm like this, you know what's going on, right? So, um, let me go back to the beginning and kind of explain everything that's going on. You can bring me my cup of tea and Amy, do you? Because I'm going to say no to that any time at all. I'll tell you what, they look after me really well, don't they, here? Hide that behind. I'll, in fact, I'll hide it under here. Nobody knows it's there. Um, by the way, because I am live and interactive, I have got the ability to read all of your questions live as they're coming through. So wherever you're watching us from, please let me know in the comments if you've already ordered this, if you've got any questions about it, because I can answer anything you want to know, or if you're thinking about ordering it and you need to know anything else, just, just let me know as it was, right? So five years now we have been running the subscription box program right so you know our box we have them every month every month we focus on a new type predominantly about die cutting and we'll have a set and we'll have a box and it'll have a new concept card and we'll have the dies and the stamps to do that sometimes we've had stencils or embossing folders in for a little bit of a change and then you're going to have cards and envelopes and gems and embellishments and papers and then every month our lovely Craig or some of the team here do videos teaching you exactly how to use it and we have had 57 months in total of launching the, a new monthly kit every month and there have been tens of thousands of you all over the world in that program 
Now, we administer the program. In the US, we've always administered it through HSN because they do their authorship program. So they are able to offer you it. So authorship wasn't built for a subscription like this. It was built for their vitamins and their beauty products and whatnot. But we've adapted it to work for us for craft. So HSN always administered it over in the US. Um, and then we had, because we didn't have anybody who could administer it on an authorship program in the UK, we always had to just bring the boxes in every month and not really run it as a subscription, but just sell them as, as kits each month, which is not really what we were looking to do. We like to do this as a big subscription program and service. So now, because we're working with QVC over here in the UK, we've partnered with QVC to be able to bring you this on their auto delivery. So it, in HSN, it's called auto ship. Over on QVC, it's called auto delivery. On both sides of the world, we've had thousands of you get in on this program since it launched on the 1st of March. So it was a National Craft Month exclusive. And what we've done here is we've had the, the old program running now for five years. And 12 months ago, I reached out to our community and I said, how can we make it better? What can we do that would be even better than what we've got today? And we received loads of feedback from you. I'm going to cover all of that feedback over the course of the next kind of 40 minutes as it was. So we've got loads and loads of feedback from everybody about what was so great about the program already that we needed to keep and then all of the areas and ways in which we could improve and we took all of those improvements and built them in to the new program and the new program is what is launching now so you've got the details up on the screen there for, for the QVC price what I will tell you is the regular price on the product so if it wasn't as a special pick of the month is 50 pounds right but every month you will get this and it's 29 pounds and it is delivered to you every month absolutely free now the way QVC run their auto delivery is a little bit different to HSN so I can explain to you the differences so right now I'm talking to all of you UK customers and explaining how it works through QVC. So if you order through QVC and you order today, and today is, that only tells me the time, Craig. What day is it? 22nd. To, thank you very much. Today is the 22nd of March. You will get delivered the March program, which is the one I'm going to be showing you in just a second. And then on the 22nd of April, you will get the April program. And on the 22nd of May, you will get the May program, okay? If you are shopping in the US, a little bit different, you will get the, May pro the, the March program sent out to you straight away. And actually, following hot on its heels is going to be April's because we said everybody's out together in one wave. Their auto delivery works differently. They recruit you all together and send you out in a wave. Whereas a a the way QVC works in the UK is it's exactly a month after you've ordered. Okay, So slightly different, but the same sort of principle. With both territories, watch, I'll get the HSN one up for you now with the HSN special price. The beauty about HSN is if you order this as part of their um, craft event next week, and it might be running now at the moment actually on this one, you'll get five flex pay on it as well. So they do five flex on all crafts every time we have a craft day. So you've got that flex pay. Uh, it's $29.95. It's not free shipping on this one item. You need to make sure that you've got your cart to $75 three flex pay right now. It's going to be five flex pay if you order it next Tuesday as part of a craft day. If you order it right this second, it's on three flex pay. Uh, so I know it says five flex, but actually the 998 is the three flex that you, because you'll pay three lots of 998. You won't pay five lots of 998. So I'll see if we can get that change on your screen. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but I want you to understand it's three flex pay at the moment. Um, so what, um, where, was, where was my trade of thought? You've got your three flex pay, 9.98. It'll be on five flex if you're ordering it next Tuesday. And I've totally lost my train of thought of where I was going to go after I was telling you it was on flex. That's right. You're got, not going to get free delivery on it. You need to make sure that you either pay delivery on the first one or you get your order to a $75 free shipping. Shouldn't be difficult. If you wait in the next few days, all of our uh, March and April product is going to be landing on the website in the next couple of days. Um, but then also every future auto ship is free delivery. You lock in the $29.95 price and you lock in free delivery on all of your future order ships. Now, that is all of the housekeeping. Have you got any have we got any questions coming through about the housekeeping? So Taylor, just so you know, Taylor, you have to send them directly to me as well. Um, I don't have the WhatsApp that Craig's got. So if you send them directly through to me, Taylor, I will answer any questions as they are coming through. Now Right, we'll get, uh, the only question I've had so far has been about the binder. So you've got the overhead camera, Craig, haven't you? But I think I'll be able to show up close mm -hmm. here, right? Now, the binder is available as an additional extra, right? So every month's kit 
is going to come to you in one of these wallets. This was part of the feedback that you gave us. Everybody said we want a more sustainable, a mo but people aren't managing to fit all of those massive boxes in their craft rooms, basically they're too big. So you wanted something, some way of storing it. So can you see these are very, very small. This is when it comes to you full at the beginning. Once you've used all the consumables out, it actually narrows down to even less and it's even thinner. What we've done is we've released this as a special big binder. It'll go into any binder these, but we've released these as the bigger binder as well. So that it, if you've got them completely full to the rafters, it'll probably hold four or five of them. Uh, once you start to deplete your stocks in there, you can hold many, many more months all in one go. And it's a lever arch binder that this works, right? So how lever arch, it's a regular lever arch binder, like all your binders. So you lift it up and it opens the lever arch. Then you're going to place your binder, uh, you place your pocket into the binder and your lever arch closes. So it's literally open and close with the lever to open that up. Now, if you've got several months in here, so let me just pop the second month into here as well, just so we can see what it looks like when you've got a couple of months in there. Once you've got them all, you might want to stop them from going up and down like this. You've got this piece here, which just turns over, right? And then once it's turned over, let me just make sure that's closed properly. Um, once it's turned over, you can lock this in place by just shutting the lock like that. So can you see on this one here, it's got an open and a close. I'll see if we can get a tiny little bit close on the close up camera. Uh, once it's open, it'll move up and down. Once you press it to close, it's going to lock in place in that one there. And you can actually then push it down if you want. So that is just that is the kind of additional optional extra if you want to hold that in place. And if I just open that up, remember the whole thing works on that lever arch. So I'm going to take out there's number two and here is number one that I'm going to show you. We will send you a binder in with your delivery number four, right? So you're going to get a, a binder with delivery number four. So if you want the binder early, get you get yourself one ordered. They're available on qvc.com in the UK. I'll swap the details on the screen back over to QVC as well. We'll keep swapping them round. Um, and we'll also swap them. Right, I didn't hear that, Taylor. Sorry, what did you ask me? So people are asking, how many kits can you fit in the binder? It all depends on how full your kit is. So if you're taking the kit, so for example, kit number two, massive because it's got all those little pots in, right? Uh, kit number one, once you've used all of your papers, it's going to be very, very flat. So it all depends on whether your kits are full and then on how much you kind of deplete the reserves in there. So I would say if they're all absolutely cram-packed full, you can probably get four at a push, maybe five months in one binder. Once you start to deplete and use up the papers and the card and things like that, and you're left with just the tools, you'll get many, many more months in there. So I hope that kind of answers that one there, right? Now, should we have a little look at what comes in the first month? And then I'm going to show you uh, the second and the third months as well. And Craig is then going to do a demonstration for you on exactly how this first month's working. So you do get a little bit of a word in edgeways, Craig. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Otherwise, you'll you, you want to say hi. With yeah. me. I've, I've got everything ready as well. We've got everything ready to go. Just to pick up on what Sarah said as well. Um, I know Sarah will talk you through the group that we've got as well. I'm in there as well. And I've been doing videos and that from the comfort of my own craft room at home, helping you guys out as well. So any questions, anything like that, I know Sarah will talk you through that. But I'm there as well to just help you out with videos and questions and answers. Brilliant. Uh, I'm starting to get questions through. So my Fibro Disney Journey is asking, if I subscribe with QVC today, can I cancel or opt out of a month if I don't want it? Right, so how QVC works is you get a 60-day money-back guarantee with absolutely everything. So what I would encourage you to do is get your program sent that month before you we have so many people who pre-decide without saying oh I don't, I've, I've read, heard the title of that one I don't think it's for me so I'm, I'm not gonna have it it's free delivery so what I would say is have it delivered for free have a look at it watch the education that goes with it and if you decide you know what I'm not interested in this month you can return this month for a full refund it hasn't cost you anything because it was free shipping in the first place okay so I would say don't it's not like HSN where you look ahead on your order ships and you'll say oh I'm going to miss this month I would say with QVC in the UK their auto delivery program works in a slightly different way I would actually get it delivered I would have a look at it then make a decision and send it back if you want to uh, then I've got Diane Pullins asking I've bought it through QVC does that mean they will automatically take the money out next month and send it to me yes you are in the subscription so you are in the subscription with QVC until you choose to cancel so it's a HSN is a rolling program QVC will 
subscribe to you for 12 months because it's a new program for them they did they aren't able to do the continuous rolling one like hsn do where some of you have been in the old program for five years now at hsn uh, qvc you've just run a 12 month program and then if you love it you'll need to re-auto enroll uh, for month 13 after the first 12 months uh, keep those questions coming guys i'm happy to answer anything okay should we have a look at what comes in this month all right so if i get this open what you will see, it's, it has the, the, they brilliantly designed these little wallets. So they're expandable gusset wallets. And then everything that you need for the month comes included. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you this month is all about making memory albums, right? Now, those of you who are hardcore crafters companion fans, you've probably got our memory album spines. So you've got the die cuts to do all of this. Those of you who haven't and are brand new, the great thing is you get all of the templates in with this one. Now, for the £29 value, or the $29.99 value, bear in mind you are actually getting that value in ribbons, photo corners you've got the beautiful die sets they're going to do up the end and these are unique dice to this program so this is completely unique you will get little stencils to draw around to create all these pieces now like i said if you already have our pro our 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 dies for die cutting the album spine you're not going to need this die here because it already does the spine right there this template here however everything else is still going to be really valuable for you in here all these other templates just that one that you've got the die that does this i mean you don't have the six by six you have the, the four inch one but you have the the die that does this we've also got in here stamps and these are all your personalized stamps. So can you see on this one, we've got the little sentiments like single moments make great memories, precious memories, uh, good times, friends, remember when. They're all the sort of ones that would work inside a memory album, okay? Then you also get, I see little pockets on here, you get the instructions. Now in terms of consumables with this one, you've got loads of sheets of these lovely die cut toppers. So these lovely florals that you're just going to die cut out and be able to decorate with. You've got pages and pages of them. We've got some of the gorgeous coloured cardstock in here. We've then got some of the patterned papers in there as well. So you've got loads of sheets of gorgeous patterned papers. And we've got some of our white card to do the kind of base creation ones with. And in just a few minutes, when he gets the word in edgeways, Craig is going to show, Craig's actually going to work through and show you how you would make up the spine. We're going to do a bit of crafting and do the memory album, right? But what I did want to do before we moved on to that is give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up in some of the future months. So I don't want to go too far ahead because I'll spoil the surprise for you uh, but what I will do is show you the next two or three months to kind of whet your appetite so March is all about doing the memory album before I move on we've got a couple of questions so I've got um, a lot of loves for Craig's little video with it ah tell them about your little video Craig they're asking if you'll do more uh, yeah I'll be doing more so the one that I already done from my craft room at home that's already there you'll find that in the group where it's just nice and comfy just me and you at home in the video and I step you through it in the simplest of forums but yeah in that group just keep asking anything you want to see want to double check I'll be doing videos for them all no problem at all <gasps> brilliant and and actually so those of you who are watching in the uk right now i need you to understand and if it's the same in the uk and the us but specifically the uk if you don't enroll in this program today well i'm saying today this month before the end of the month okay so i've done a presentation on qvc today you can still go on if you've never shopped with qvc before guys it's really easy and this one item is free shipping so you can go through you can set up you can have it if it's not for you afterwards you can always send it back and get a refund or you can get into the program let you say any the beauty with qvc is everything they do is a full 60 day money back guarantee even if you've opened it and used the product okay so that is that is QVC. What happens though if you don't get into the program today? We will be presenting the memory album again in future. We absolutely will be, but just as a standalone kit. We will not be giving you the chance to enrol. We've already pre bought, we've got an allocated number of people we're able to have in the club because we've pre bought April, May june and july and actually and august kits now so we need to know how many of you are in the program because we've pre-bought for every month we can't wait and say oh how many people get it this month and we'll order that many for next month we've had to pre-buy we have to pre-buy six months in advance so as soon as march finishes and I, I will tell you now we're actually heading in the uk we're probably going to hit our allocation 
of all of the auto deliveries sold before we get to the end of the month. We will run out of stock before we run out of time in the month um, based on how we're tracking three weeks into the month. So we're three weeks out of four and we're already way past three quarters of the stock, right? So we're, we're going to, we will sell out of this early. So if you know, if you think you might want it, I would say order it. You can always return it if it's not for you. You haven't got that chance. If you don't get it before it sells out, you're not going to be able to enrol again this year. It's really important. It's no good if you kind of watch everybody talking about the club over the next two or three months and say, I really want that, that watercoloring kit that's come out in June. Well, we can't, we're not going to be selling them individually. That's the difference here as well. We're not going to be making these available for individual purchase in the UK. Now that we have a partner in the UK then could, that could, and can administer the subscription, this is a subscription program. So we are allowing QVC to run the subscription program for us because we can't administer that through Crafters Companion directly. So it means that you need, even if you've never shopped from QVC before, I kind of need you to buy this one item from QVC because we can't sell it to you directly through Crafters Companion. Uh, right, other ideas for the kit people are asking about. So recipe books, uh, I've got a one here that's like an inspirational quote book you could be doing. Um, I think I've seen some lovely ones. You've got some over your side, Craig, actually, haven't you? I do, yeah. Ooh, do you want to show them yours as well? Craig's got a lovely recipe, uh, recipe album. You could be doing little mini calendars. You could be creating little annual Christmas birthday gifts, like, you know, every year grandma gets to look back at the kids, for example. Uh, they would make lovely teacher's gifts as well. You can document a really important, like a first day of school or something. Loads of ideas you can do with them, Craig, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. The other thing I'm thinking as well is including the inside pages as well as the inside of the front and then the inside of the back. That gives you 12 pages. What about, you know, your uh, a baby boy, baby girl, you know, your grandson, your uh, granddaughter? And that could be each month throughout the year, you know, as they're growing up throughout that year, then that could be a different picture, but maybe a little memory if you want to. But yeah, this one here being your recipe book, Christmas pudding there, so you've got your different recipes in there. Now, of course, that could be for all throughout the year. Maybe it's one of, uh, for instance, I've got a lot of my uh, Nan's recipes that I could then start to pop inside with a little photo. So you've got all these tuck-ins. Remember, you've got all these templates that Sarah was showing you there a moment ago. But then you can come across and then you can start to incorporate other papers that you'll have bought either from uh, HSN or QVC UK, start to combine them all together, add your own embellishments. But the key thing is you've got everything within that one craft club kit to start you off. And that's what I love about it, Sarah. Do you know, I've already had a message from Debbie Mahan in the US. I'll pop you the details up for the uh, US subscription, those of you who are ordering on uh, HSN. She says, I've got my memory album yes. kit out and I'm ready to make a book for my mum well, she says mother, because uh, Mother's Day is on May the 14th, of course, yeah. in the US. We just had our Mother's Day here in the UK last weekend. What a brilliant way you could be making your Mother's Day memory album already. Now, I did promise you we'd have a little look at uh, next month. Now, Craig, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm going to do, Craig? I'm yep. going to give you the samples for next month okay. because you've already done some of the projects. I have video indeed. Tutorials. So I'll show you what you're getting and then Craig can show you what you're going to be making. So next month is all going to be about gilding. We are a little bit obsessed with gilding now here at Crafters Companion. You've seen us do the gilding flakes, but th there'll be thousands of people out there who haven't tried it, right? Or if you have and you've maybe got a couple of the gilding flakes, you want to learn more about it. Now, you're going to get the book inside your kit, and it's going to teach you all of the different elements, all of the different things that you would want to do with gilding flakes. But then actually, you need all of the tools and equipment. So it's no point if you've just bought a pot of gilding flakes in the past, but you don't have the special liquid adhesive for example or you don't have the special ink pad to be able to ink up your stamps and stamp with the, uh, the, the special adhesive to then do all of the applying your adhesive now this one here for example we've applied the adhesive through the stencil using the ink pad or you can ink up your stamps and then apply the uh, gilding flakes to the stamps loads of techniques so if I show you what comes in the kit when I open all of this out, it's a massive kit this one next month you've got three pots of the gilding flakes so you get the uh, gold you get the copper and you get the silver to get you started. 
Then we get the liquid glue and the special ink pad to go with it. So this is the ink, the glue that you can put on the ink pad or you can use individually. You get a pack of three of the forms for applying the gilding flakes on and off there. We've also given you one of our glue pens so that you can write with this, apply the glue down and then put the gilding flakes onto the glue. We've got double-sided tape that you can be using to put, apply your gilding flakes on directly. We've got some iridescent glitter which works in conjunction with your gilding flakes over the top of them. We've designed a selection of stamps, which are stamps that work really, really well once you gild them. So like a, a butterfly or sunflower, you're going to ink this with the special ink pad with the liquid glue that you've put on and you're going to create uh, stamped backgrounds. You've got some stencils, which we can be stenciling through to do some lovely um, gilded backgrounds on there as well. We've got a whole collection of die cut pieces so you've got a load of die cut sentiments and then we've got die cut leaves and hearts and a, and a whole little pack of these die cuts for you to be able to use and gild and use on all of your crafted projects on there as well uh, now we've got some layers of adhesive this is double-sided adhesive so that you can die cut with this for example and you can see you just peel the back off um, and it's going to be clear on both it's going to be adhesive on both sides but you can die cut a shape for example one side would stick it down the other side becomes sticky for you to apply your gilding flakes to we've got some acetate for you to work with in here as well we've got a lovely selection of different papers that you're working with in this set too and then we've got a whole big pack of your black and your white cardstock to get you going on different card bases now that is an awful lot guys i'm not being funny if you had to buy the packs if you had to buy all of that separately well, also, we only do the big pots of everything. So if, if you had to buy this, you'd be talking double, if not triple, what you're paying for the delivery in the club. And do you want to show them some of the things you, that you're, you're going to be teaching them how to make, Craig? Absolutely, yeah. Because I'm going to go through what we're going to make within the videos. Already filmed them. What I will say as well, and I'm going to go back to that Facebook group that we've got there, was absolutely, there was no way that I could get all techniques covered within the video that will go out ready for you. So we will be doing more videos that will go into that group as well for you to follow. But this, as soon as you get your hands on it, this is what you're going to be able to create. We're going to show you, with your double-sided adhesive sheets, how you can start to use your gilding flakes create your background these are the die cut sheets this is going over the top with the stay sticky glue that you've got included and then we're going over the top with your uh, actual uh, flakes this is called fire and ice technique so this is actually using the gilding flakes the stay sticky glue through the stencil then going over the top with that iridescent glitter that you've got the die cut sentiments it's framing them with uh, well it's framing them with a double-sided tape and then uh, using the flakes the die cut sentiment with the stay sticky glue again this time it's combining the actual uh, die cut shapes with the stay sticky glue but then using the papers that you've got included with of course the iridescence glitters and then even using the sentiment on its own that stay sticky pen freehand drawing your own images going over the background with your uh, flakes then this is going through your stencils as well with that stay sticky glue creating your own different backdrops but then you can start to transfer them into your different cards and projects all those adhesive mediums that you get included are all there to serve a purpose where you can be using all of the flakes you might then come along and then start to go in and then create a little fine detail so this is like a marbling effect that's already in the printed papers you get included but go over with your stay sticky pen add the flake detail if you want to the stamps that are included so that stamp and that stays sticky glue on your stamp applying it to your cardstock you show you that in the video as well so you've got multitudes of different ways in which you can use this kit now I done it was about five techniques in total in the video and I still have flakes left over that I can do a lot more so trust me when you see these pots they do last you a long time this one here Sarah with your double-sided tape that you've got wow. create your strip background and then this one is just stamping out the butterfly but then going in with your stay sticky glue and put in additional detail that's your die cut sentiment go over with your stay sticky glue and then going over with the silver flakes so it's all done from that craft kit number two which is all about the gilding flakes we show you loads within the video and i'll be showing you more with the videos that i do from the comfort of my own craft room at home wow 
Right, I'm getting, starting to get questions through. Can I pop the details for the UK QVC order back up on there, okay? So I've got Tracy Madden is saying, I've bought the memory album from QVC and I've received it. How do I know I'm in the subscription program? And actually somebody else, uh, Karen, I've already bought number one from QVC. I couldn't see anything to sign up for it coming monthly. Does it happen automatically, right? Let me let you know on here. So the item number that's on the screen is actually wrong. So the eight, uh, 824312 is not going to get you the auto delivery. That is the single delivery, right? Or is that right? Um, mm -hmm. No, I, I think that is the single delivery. The auto delivery is item number 822788. So I'm going to get that changed for you guys. What you need to do then is if you go back onto your order, if you ordered 824312, which is the date that's on your screen, you've ordered just the single shipment because there are some people out there who just want to make the memory album. They're not bothered about being in the subscription every month. They just wanted to make that memory album. So they are offering that as a single purchase only. If you want to be in the club and you want the monthly subscription, you need to make sure that you ordered 822788. Now, when you order it, I don't know if you ordered it on the, on the website, she thinks I'm backwards. Yes? Oh, oh, good news, good news. The one that's on your screen is right. Okay, do you know what I might see if we can do? I might see if our team can have a practice and get the QVC website up. And if we can try, we might see if we can walk you through the process of ordering it and showing you how you make sure the, you order the auto delivery one, right? If in doubt, what I would recommend you do is go back and reorder the auto delivery one. You can always return the one that's on single ship. It's free shipping, guys. So if, you ord if you've ordered the, free sh the single shipment, even if you've already opened it and used it, order the auto delivery one now, because if, if you aren't in, if you haven't, they won't be able to change it on their system and say, oh, we'll switch you over to the auto delivery. What you'll need to do is reorder the auto delivery one, return the single shipment one, even if you use the one that came out the auto delivery shipment, if that makes sense, return that on, on the item number of the single shipment one so that it doesn't cancel you out of the club, but you want to make sure you are in that club, okay? So I'm being told, uh, we're going to get it up on the screen and show you at the point that we can, but the uh, 824312 that's on your screen is your auto delivery delivery option okay and um, most people are getting it right because when I last heard from QVC 75% of people who'd ordered had ordered into the auto delivery so I'm, I'm sure most of you got it right but if in doubt go back and just have a check that you are subscribed to auto delivery at QVC okay um Louise is saying I'm joining this a little bit late today no problem Louise will this replace the monthly craft boxes yes this is the upgrade. So we've done them monthly craft boxes now for five years. We took all of your feedback and we built them into a new, a brand new program. Now we've had to, so if you're shopping in the US, you have to start again with the subscription because it's a different price point. It's a different proposition. It's a new program. They had to end the old program and start this as a new one, which is a shame because there are thousands and thousands of you who are already in that program. It would have been loads more convenient if they just switched it over and kept going. However, I can assure you they haven't switched it over and kept going. You need to order the new one. So again, we'll keep switching and we'll get you the HSN details up. And if you're ordering in the US, you need to make sure you order that. Um, the auto I'm pretty sure in the US they only offer it on auto delivery because they know that our customers understand that it's you're not buying a one-off purchase. You're, you're, all, you're buying into the club. Uh, and this is going to be your only chance this year if you want to get in the club. Like I said, we've already pre-ordered the same number of kits for April, May, June, July, and August deliveries. So we know we need to know how many of you are in the club at the end of March because that's how many that we've we've got, we've got on order. Victoria is loving the fact that they are including written instructions with each kit. She learns better than written instructions. We we do aim to please. Do you want to have a little nosy at what's coming up in June? I've got June's one, Craig. If let's you want, let's do it. Yeah, let's right. do it. Can I just quickly say as well, well there was a yeah. written instruction, Sarah. So the videos that I do, I follow the instructions so that you've both got a visual uh, via written and then also me on the screen. And then the videos that I do that will go in the group, they'll be completely different. So you'll learn different things. So just want to let you know that. I do you know, I can I just say for me, the absolute, 
there's a lot of best things about the club. I think it is that community, Craig. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's the fact that at the same month, thousands and thousands of you from all over the world are going to be having this delivered all together and you're all going to be crafting with it together. Yeah. So that group is going to be a light with ideas, Absolutely. suggestions, tips and tricks on people. Craig's in there teaching you a little bit more. We've got the additional videos every month because some people like to learn with the written instructions. Mm -hmm. Some like to learn with visual instructions. Some like to just have a go and then show yeah. their friends what they've been up to. There is really something for absolutely everybody. Now, before I move on to this next month, I did just want to walk you through exactly what you're going to be doing if you're on QVC.com. So if you head to the QVC website, so it's qvcuk.com if you're shopping in the US guys please don't go to qvcus.com because we work with HSN in the US QVC in the UK so you just need to search Crafters Companion Memory Album Project okay now can you see you've got over on the right hand side you've got the choice of individual delivery or auto delivery this was me 10 minutes ago talking all about it right you must select the auto delivery one if you've only ordered it as individual delivery and so i'm realizing it doesn't really matter what item number you've put in guys which is brilliant it'll take you to the same page but you've got to select auto delivery over on the right hand side there not individual delivery by my uh, life i talk with my hands a lot Craig, don't I? <laughs> Oh, it's a little bit weird watching yourself back with no sound on. But make sure you choose that auto delivery option. And then when you go through the process, it will keep you in that program until you um, opt out of it, essentially, until you decide that to go with it. I recognise that website very, very well. I'm on it quite a lot Craig myself, is Sarah. a regular <laughs> QVC shopper, OK? Now, uh, let me show you what's coming in month three, OK? So month three is going to be all about learning watercolouring. Right, so every month you're going to get the um, this is like the front panel. So, if you want to put them into your binder, you can have the panel that kind of gives you the inspiration of what we're going to be doing each time. Uh, I'll come and show you the cards in just a second, but again, when we're undoing this, what you'll see is in here we're going to get that set which is going to show you here are eight different techniques that we're going to learn with these, and then here are all of the instructions on how to do all of these techniques and it's all the things that we you know we talk about this sort of stuff loads in our education but it's wonderful as i've learned with people who've been doing the academy of color craig mm -hmm. people really want to do exactly that project exactly, there. yes they want they want those same colors the same pens the same techniques the same equipment mm -hmm. so they can get exactly the same result and perfect the technique that's what we're doing with this one so in here what you're going to be getting is the actual watercolor markers themselves we've done we've used tri-blend aquas uh, tricolor aquas so that you've got nine different colors in each one so you're getting nine pens of different watercolor uh, medium to be able to work with right so those nine pens uh, coming as your three watercolor aqua pens okay then what we've got is you've got some special now these are resist background papers so can you see there you've got the printing on them all different designs so that when we, I think I can just about catch that there oh, with the yeah, light. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit. So that when we're working with these, these are going to resist. You'll see when you do the, the techniques with them. So you've got a whole selection of resist. You've got the special watercolour card for you to be able to work with. We've included in the pack a load of die cut sentiments because these are, and these are on that lovely watercolour. Uh, it's like a wood effect paper, this it one, is, isn't, isn't it? it? So you're going to be able to do the watercolour techniques onto the watercolour sentiments. Then we've also got look at this one here this is where it gets exciting right you've got a um, emboss effect ink pad and some clear embossing powder so if you want to stamp we've got a set of lovely stamps so you're going to be able to stamp and then you're going to be able to do your embossing so you're going to be ink, able to ink up this is a special watermark ink pad basically it's an invisible one but it's an invisible ink pad that your embossing powder will stick to and then you've got the embossing powder set in here in the white which is going to stick to your embossing ink pad so you get the ink pad and the embossing powder you get your water spritzer which you're going to use for a lot of your techniques and then in this one we've also included a pack of card blanks and envelopes to get you started so when you're going these are going to be the sort of cards you're doing. So where you've got, you've, uh, we've done the stamping and watercolouring. We've created the coloured backgrounds onto the resist. You've coloured in onto those uh, die cut sentiments, Craig. Mm -hmm. This is another one where you've got another one of those backgrounds on there. Actually, there's that same background again, this time cut into some panels, which I think looks fabulous. This is where we've done a little bit of stamping and colouring with it. These are just a few ideas, but it's the fact that you've got the actual pens, you've got the ink pad, you've got the embossing powder, you've got the spritzer, you've got 
the stamps, you've got the resist backgrounds, you've got the cards and envelopes, you've got the watercolour archive, you've got everything you need to be able to do a full watercolour class. And this is the beauty, every month you're going to be taking that full class and learning how to do it. Now, talking about taking the full class, Craig, yes. I did promise that you would do a little bit of tuition with the box number one. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want to talk everyone through what you're going to show them in the next kind of ten minutes? Yeah, and actually, if we just go back to what you just said there, Sarah, I wish when, you know, I was crafting at home, before I got to the stage that I was, I wish I had something like that because the techniques that we're going to show you, if we just show you, for instance, at number three, the, the watercolour, you could see that in the in the day on shopping TV, but you would have to buy every single element individual, whereas this is all together within one kit. You are getting that written. You're going to get me as well with all that visual as well. I just wish that was there available for me and anyone else, you know, when we were crafting uh, a number of years ago, because that would have just been an absolute game changer for us. And that goes uh, for... Mean with a quick... Um Quick uh, comment, yeah. Some, loads of people asking about the zip pouches. Can we make them available to buy separately? A lot of people in the comments talk about the fact, Craig, that they want to buy these and put their old subs box mm -hmm. contents into these. I will go straight after this, straight to Leanne, put that request in, see how quickly we can order them and we'll get them available for purchase individually. Not individually, when we probably like packs of three or packs of five or something. Yes. And, and that's good to know because I have been absolutely inundated with that question as well. Thank you. Please, Craig, could you ask if we could get these pouches uh, singly so I can put my old sub box in there? So that's good that Sarah's going to do that for sure because I'll be doing the same as well. Uh, right here, so we're going to talk you over the uh, the memory album to start off, certainly going in with that spine. I'll show you the spine because that's the one, that's the one question I keep getting asked about. What I would say as well then is go back onto the uh, Facebook group because that's where I do that really in-depth video where I show you how you can do a full memory album. Now you do get your construction card. The other question I get asked after all the time, Sarah, is once I've used it, what cardstock do I use? Use our white multi-purpose cardstock. If you're wanting to create a basis one of white like I do, white multi-purpose card, that is going to be the perfect cardstock for you to use afterwards. But when it comes to this template, this is that one where you see it's going to actually create the spine. So I'm not going to draw around all this because I've got one already done, but I'll uh, explain it to you. You simply draw around the whole template and in all of these channels and all these crosses, all you're going to do is you're just going to follow the lines. So you're going to follow the lines. These crosses are marked as to where you're going to put your adhesive. So if I bring this one in here, you can see our pencil line. I would recommend pencil because then you can take your eraser and then rub that one out. And then if you are uh, someone that's been crafting for a number of years or even for a little wee while, you can take either your guillotine or paper trimmer and cut all the way around, or you can take your scissors. If you are new to crafting and you've not got any of your big tools, then your scissors are going to be absolutely fine. You're simply going to cut all the way around. Now, when it comes to the video that I've already popped up, other than the video that I've done from this studio here, the one from home, one of the questions we also got, and it actually started off a chain, and it was from a guy called Michael that was saying, loves crafting, he's brand new to crafting, he's bought and he's in our auto delivery, but he doesn't have any of the tools. Can this be uh, perfect for a beginner? Absolutely. Because what you're going to do now, when it comes to all of the score lines, so the pencil lines that you've done, you're going to come in with your scoreboard. Now, it doesn't matter what scoreboard you've got, whether it's a small or a large, as long as you've got a scoreboard where you're going to go in with your ball tool, scoring tool, and you're just going to follow all of those pencil channels all the way down, ignoring the crosses at the moment. Now, that's great if you've got a scoreboard and you've got an embossing tool, but say you don't have anything like that. Well, the chances are you're going to have some form of a ruler. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be ours, but you've got a ruler. Now, if you have got a ballpoint pen, one like this, but with no ink in it, so you've run out of ink, you've just got that empty ballpoint pen, you can use a pen or something with a rounded edge. So either tweezers 
or maybe even little scissors that are closed, just something with a rounded edge, what you can then do is come along with your ruler and instead of going in with your scoreboard, all that you're going to do is line that ruler up against your pencil line and then you're going to go round with that rounded edge and you're just going to score down because it doesn't actually need to be a deep score. It's just that light score, just enough to give your cardstock that flexibility. And then what's going to happen is because you've already gone in with your scoring line, so there's the couple that I've done with my scoreboard, but look at that. That's now the ones that I've just done with my ruler, and it happened to be my tweezers, and that still scores to absolute perfection, no problem at all. So if you don't have a scoreboard, don't worry about it. You can absolutely use something such as a ruler or something with a rounded edge. Where are people asking where are your videos at? So, on our, if you go onto our Facebook page, now it was originally the uh, Craft Club Box Facebook page. It is now uh, our monthly Craft Club page so it's changed to all lovely fuchsias it's our craft club so that is if you're already in that group from our craft club you'll already be there if not you're just going to go into your facebook page and then you're just going to search for us i think it's craft club um crafters companion craft club crafters on facebook companion craft club. Uh, and then you'll just need to to join you're going to get accepted i think there's a couple of questions and then you're in there that's where you're going to see my videos i pop them all on there for you to see as well so if you want to see the videos for each of the craft clubs that that's where they're going to be. I don't tend to put them on my Facebook page. They go in because they're there for your benefit. That's in the club. So they'll go there in that group for you to see. So you'll be able to see the ones I've done already. So hopefully so, that helps, Sarah. So a couple of questions while you're still doing yeah. the Ford and Craig Allen set. So Mickey G is asking, I've previously been able to buy single craft club boxes directly from CCTV. Will this still be an option based on availability? Now, <clears throat> if we have anything available, Yes, we can, we, can, we can put them on, but what I can't do is guarantee that we have them available. So the only way that you can guarantee you get them is when you get... So we are offering the subscription and the club exclusively from HSN and from QVC. Now, I, I know that, so that's not what we've done in the past with the boxes. So in the past, you see, the, so the reason it's changing is in the past we've had HSN in the US could administer the authorship program, which the, I would say 95% of people were getting it that way. In the UK, we didn't have anybody who could administer the authorship program. So what we used to do is we used to bring in a few thousand every month and then we used to say, right, they're available. And they were pretty much for the UK people, but a few US people who weren't in the subscription program, maybe they were waiting to get in on the next enrolment, they would be able to buy them individually. It's different now because we're kind of starting afresh and we found a partner who can administer that program with us. So we have bought to the, we've kind of like um, future bought all the ones based on how many people are subscribing into that club so technically we won't have any available now I'm not saying that doesn't mean one maybe in August we might have 50 left over of one because some people have you know come out of the subscription and we hadn't planned it so it, it might happen once in a blue moon however it's not something we've planned for and brought stock in for because the aspiration with this is that it's a club so that's why it's going to be running like that there's also a lot of comments I see about people saying about how they had loads of um, card blanks and envelopes left yes this is what we found we felt under pressure every month because everybody expected the value in that box was always i could make x number of cards we had we felt like we had to include the physical cards and envelopes every time one of the beauties of starting from scratch and starting again from the beginning is we could do it however we wanted. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, this first one, not even about making cards. Nope. There's no cards and envelopes in. The second one, there's no cards and envelopes in. The third one, we've put you a few in so that you can do a couple of watercolour cards to start with, but the value of the kit is all in the embossing powder, the inks, the pens, the spritzes, the everything else that you need to go with it. And that has all been based on your feedback. So trust me, the old club was great. This new version of the club is absolutely phenomenal. 100%. Right. Could not agree with you more on How that one, Sarah. On? Right, so what I've started to do there, the reason we've got the X is they're there just as a visual because that's where you're going to put your adhesive. Now, you do have a couple of choices. You can absolutely use our tape runner. These are uber, uber strong. What I would say, if you're using the tape runner, put your adhesives on both sides. You can, if you've got our red liner tape, 
use our red liner tape, or if you've got our tacky glue, you can be using our tacky glue as well. This one is a personal preference, but our actual tape runner will absolutely do the job as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down just a couple of strips on each side, and we're going to go on where we've got the X's, and then what I'm going to do is close them together. So we're doing X to X. So we're closing that together. I'm going to fold it on itself, and then I'm going to build up the heat because heat and adhesive love each other, makes them even more sticky, grips perfectly together. So we're just going to build that one up and then I'm going to open that one up. And then this is where you've got the tabs. This is where your pages are going to start to uh, come together. I'm going to do this last one here. So we're going to go in. So now, while you're doing them, yeah. Craig, uh, I've had Lillian, so quite a few people in the UK chatting away. Lillian said, I thought I was in the auto ship, but I was mistaken. Can I start my auto delivery in April and get the kits for £29? Or do I need to start the subscription now and return it for a refund? There will be no option to enrol on the auto delivery in April. So the only time you can enrol on this kit is in March or while we have stock available. They're, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. They are down to the less than 500 units available at QVC in the auto delivery program. I did tell you most of our stock had already been allocated. There are less than 500 spots left to get in that auto delivery. And bear in mind there are tens of thousands of people watch each show like this morning we've had tens of thousands of people watching us okay and um, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to reorder the auto delivery one and then when it comes you'll have to return um you have to return marches for a refund um, and, and you'll get a full refund from them i know it's a little bit of an inconvenience and yes you could say system wise why can they not just do it from april but the way their systems work at the point at which you order you've got put in the bucket of you're in the auto delivery bucket and your orders automatically process every month so you definitely want to be making sure that you're getting that auto delivery uh, diane's actually saying i'm so glad i've watched this show i had ordered the single ship so I've been back in now and I've changed to auto ship. I'm so pleased, Diane. I'm now really, really worried about how many people have done exactly. the same thing and haven't watched this show. So they hadn't realised that that's it. Mm -hmm. they, they will be, they've ordered it thinking they're going to be in the club and then they're not because they're not going to get the April shipment. They're going to ring up QVC and they'll say, oh, I'm sorry, but you only ordered the single delivery. Absolutely. So if that's you, you, you've got time to put it right. Yeah, definitely. Can I just say it as well, just like us, uh, Sarah, our customer service, QVCs are exceptional as well. So even just give them a call just to double check. They'll be able to help you out there. But what I've done here is we've got the tabs already done where our pages are going to go in. Now, if you want to do that wrap around the side of the pages, I'll just show you that very quickly in a minute before we end the show. The actual pages. Now, the memory book is six inches in height. However, it can be as long as you want it to be, or it can be as short as you want. What I like to do, once again, I like to make mine all in white and then decorate it with my card and paper. But for each of these tabs, you're going to cut two pieces of, for instance, this one I've done six by six. So you're going to sandwich one at the back, one at the front, and either using your tape runner or tacky glue. And you're going to do that for all four tabs. When it comes to the wrap, what you're going to do is you're going to cut yours to six inches by five and a half. You're going to score in at two inches. I turn it around and score in again at two inches. That's going to give you your wrap. Now, if you're a new crafter and you don't have a die cutting machine, you can simply leave it as it is. Then you've got a beautiful colored wrap, no matter what color you use or pattern paper. But if you do choose to use one of the edge dies, you can then have something that looks like that around the edge of the spine that neatens it up. So if I tuck that one in there and tuck that one into here, but then what you can also do is you can use these to create a decorative edge. So very, very quickly, Sarah, if you are a brand new crafter, no scoreboard, no die cutting machine, you can absolutely make whatever size memory album you like without using any of the dies. But if you are a crafter and been crafter for a long time, you can then use all of your dies. You can use all the edge dies if you want to and create some of the most beautiful memory albums that you can create.
And, and of course, everybody can go along and watch any of Craig's videos. Yes. Just make sure you're in that group, okay? So just go and search for the monthly craft kit group on Facebook. We will let you straight in. You'll be chatting along with everybody. Now, some good news. I've just said I've been following Gareth's chat on YouTube. And he was panicking because he thought he'd only got the single ship and he was going to have to return it and cancel it and reorder it and yada, yada, yada. Gareth says he's just called QVC and it turns out, they've helped me, it turns out he was in the authorship programme. Brilliant right. news, Gareth, awesome. so you don't need to worry. Uh, Michelle's saying she loves all of the changes that we've made to the subscription programme. She really feels like she's starting afresh. That is what we felt like it was ready for a complete refresh, mm -hmm. a total overhaul. It's brand new, and I'm so pleased you're loving it as much as we are. Uh, Inkwell Chicks in, I really like this new programme. Love being able to learn new techniques without spending a fortune yeah. to see if I like it. You're spending 29 quid or 29 bucks. That's all it is every month. It's been shipped to you for free. The whole kit's cute rated you're getting almost double the value of stuff as what you've got there so you're getting it all delivered to your door you've got the chance to try it you've got the technique videos you're in the club you're part of the community and i just think there are thousands and thousands of crafters already in that group there now imagine you joining them and learning them t new techniques joining craig every month to make yep. new projects and i think you've got the details are on the screen for qvc so if you've joined us late to the party you can go back and watch all of this show and see all of the explanation but you'll see on qvcuk.com make sure when you're ordering you do click on the auto delivery they offer single ship or auto delivery make sure you choose the auto delivery and then each month 30 days after the previous month you'll get sent your next one and then if you're in the US let me pop the details up for the US customers they automatically put you in the auto ship so that we don't get all of this confusion which I kind of almost wish QVC had done it would have made it a lot easier here in the UK and um, so if you're in a, you're watching at HSN you order the item number from HSN you will automatically be enrolled in the auto delivery program along with thousands of other people uh, and every month but the great thing about their auto ship is if you want to pause one or miss a month you absolutely can do it's different to how QVC works, you'd need to return it with QVC. Now, if you've got any other questions, remember you can just drop them into that group at any time. Craig and I will both be keeping mm -hmm. an eye on. We've taken all your feedback on board from today as well. We're going to go and get those um, these ordered so you can have them individually as well, those of you that are wanting to uh, store everything else. Uh, when we'll be able to see you next, Craig? Uh, where's that? On Crafters TV? Yes. Well, if you're watching live, you're going to find myself and Jan in an hour's time for two hours of our spring clearance craft vault. Oh, so make sure you join Craig in about an hour's time. I will see you later tonight for a big preview of everything Ooh, going on nice. HSN next week. Uh, so tune in at six o'clock UK time, which will be... One o'clock, no, two o'clock Eastern time or 11 o'clock West Coast time, I believe. Uh, but basically, yeah, is that right? Everyone's just going to go with what I'm saying there. <laughs> yep, so I'll see you tonight for a big preview of everything coming up on the uh, HSN show that's going to be out next week before I fly out to the stage of the team this weekend. Uh, I'll see you in an hour. Right, Absolutely. thank you for joining us. See you soon. Toodles.